Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. You better get the kids out of the room because I'm pretty angry right now, and I intend on getting still madder. United Church of Christ, a mainline Protestant denomination, published a Facebook post telling all whites that they are racist against non-whites, no matter what they do. So, in other words, uh, we're evil no matter what we do, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, I do understand something about the religion, and what they're doing, what they're saying is flying right in the face of the forgiveness of Christ, because of what the Bible says is, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but Jesus is supposed to save us from our sins. But according to this, just being white is a sin that can't be forgiven. If I'm going by the, uh, going strictly by the theology, I'm an agnostic, folks. <laughs> you wonder why? I'm an agnostic. An infographic posted on Church's Facebook page over the weekend gives white people series 10 tips on how to cope with their white privilege. Suggestions include listen when people call you on your microaggressions and stop contributing to gentrification, whatever that is. But 10 suggestions, most notable one, telling white readers to recognize that you're still racist no matter what. So, uh, were I to be a holy roller, born again, so I'm not sure what I am, uh, I would have to consider the United Church of Christ to be an apostate based on this because they obviously don't accept the forgiveness of Christ. I... These uh, people are sicker in hell, all right? I'm going to uh, stop this for a moment, and I'm going to show you the actual Facebook post. You're ready to be shocked. These claim to be born-again Christians, but this is vile hatred of the white race. Hang on. Okay. Here is the hate page from the United Church of Christ. They support white genocide, folks. Make no mistake. Ten ways you can actively reject your white privilege. Take up minimal space during anti-racism dialogues and protests. Which means we don't get a say in any of this. Stop contributing to gentrification and calling it urban development. In other words... White's not allowed in cities. I guess. Listen when people call you on your microaggressions. No, I'll flip a finger in their face. Guess which one. Never invite people of color to the table for the sake of claiming diversity. Well, I don't know why I would do that anyway. Refrain from using your non-white friends as your urban dictionary. I don't even know what that means. Stop lifting up non-confrontational people of colors as examples of what POC activism should be. Number seven, call your friends, family, and co-workers out on racism, even if a POC isn't in the room. I mean, person of color. Understand that all anti-racism work doesn't look the same and advocate accordingly. Number nine, realize that all discussions about race aren't for you, and be okay with that. Number ten, recognize that you're still racist no matter what. This is just plain old hate. It's hatred of the white race. It's hatred of freedom. And this is coming... From 
a supposed Christian church. This is hate, just like you get out of the radical, you can go to a radical Muslim mosque and hear hatred like this. What the hell is going on? Well, I got one more uh, site to show you on this. Uh, where this apparently came from, this new sacred place. This isn't any joke. This is not an internet hoax, apparently. This is sickening. Utterly sickening. Hang on. Well, here you are. Uh, this is New Sacred United Church of Christ blog. And we're going to wait until the uh, graphic that was on the other page comes up. But this is where this uh, bullshit is apparently coming from. I am mattering. I am, I am fucking pissed. I'll tell you that much. That graphic might not come up. But uh, this is where I trace this to. Newsacred.org. Uh, the church is different from Joe Camel, but I'm wondering if it's uh, that much different from Adolf Hitler. I don't know what's going on. There you go. So you say you've got white privilege, not what? So I'm going to click on that. And here's the page that comes up. If you're white and clicked on this blog, be congratulated for naming your privilege. You can still read in a few characters. Thank you for naming your privilege. It's a good starting point of solidarity with people of color to name that privilege exists. But naming your privilege is not the same thing as taking action to reject it and dismantle white supremacy. Go to hell! White allies are quick to remind others that social change couldn't happen without them. While not focusing much time on rejecting the oppressive systems and behaviors that necessitated the social change in the first place. We've heard this all before. This is Nazism. This church is adopting the policies and the general thinking of the Nazis. That's right. They are for white genocide, and it is called the United Church of Christ. They are fucked up in the head. All right. Uh, I told you to get the kids out of the room. Talking about privilege while not doing anything to dismantle white supremacy it's like seeing a fire and never calling 911. It just doesn't do much. Go to hell! Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You are not a Christian. You are fucking apostates. At least I hope they're not. I hope they're rejected by the Christian community. You people in the other Christian religions, you have to reject this. You have to reject the United Church of Christ and declare it apostate right now. This is a little bit expanded from the Facebook point post. I'll, uh... Yeah, I gotta go over this a little bit. So, all we're doing is taking up space. That's number one. Um, many white allies feel too comfortable talking about white privilege while pushing for their residential communities to legislate against gentrification. 
which is like w reverse white flight at the expense of a mass PLC eviction bonus. So now we're throwing people of color out of tenements and stuff. This is horseshit. I am not gonna I am not gonna tolerate this. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna say this again. After this is the same bullshit in hearing on campus, so I'm only gonna deal with number ten. And you can see the fucked up person who wrote this, by the way. There's Marchi I don't know how to pronounce that. Marchie Greer. She's a fucked up individual. All right. So let's deal with number 10. Recognize that you're still racist no matter what. Sometimes anti-racist allies talk in an us versus them framework when they discuss race with us being peace, POC and anti-racist allies and them being racist people. That's an over, oversimplification of centuries of racism. And it also avoids one simple truth. White people always benefit from institutionalized racism, no matter how ra anti-racist your ideologist may be. You can't disconnect yourself completely from the racism from which you benefit and recognizing that this is a large step in rejecting white privilege. So here you go. This is, if I was religious, I would be saying that this church is worshiping the fucking devil. I'm not taking it back. But since I'm an agnostic and I'm not sure the devil exists, all I can do is rail on him. This is fucked up beyond anything I've ever seen. They're not the only ones. The Quakers are in on this type of shit, too. And a few other denominations. So don't think that this is limited to the United Church of Christ. All right, I'm screaming myself hoarse, and it's going to raise my blood pressure right through the roof. Right through the fucking roof. This is a black liberation theology Marxist. Mar Marche Greer. She's a Mar black liberation Marxist is what it is. Now, the Church of Christ, United Church of Christ has got to get rid of this individual and throw her out. But they won't. So they are apostate. By a strict definition. I'm an agnostic, so that's the church's problem. But you people got to wake up. If you're white, you are got a fucking target on your uh, chest. I'm not being facetious here. These motherfuckers want you dead. They're sick and twisted and diseased. And if you're a white cat, they want you dead big time. They are sick and twisted and diseased. This is black liberation Marxism. That's what this is. That's what this person is. She's evil. She's dedicated to evil. And this church has dedicated itself to evil. If it does not decry this and say, okay, you're out of here. You don't belong here. You belong with the Black Panthers. They don't do that, then screw them. That's the way I see it. Other churches, other church denominations should take all these ones that are saying white privilege and say, okay, we're declaring you apostate. Period, then the subject. But they won't. You're fucked. I mean, you're fucked if you're a member of the uh, so called Christian church. Because most of them are getting into this. They're preaching hate. 
They're not preaching the love of Christ. All they're doing is preaching hate. So, fuck them. Fuck you, United Church of Christ. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You do not worship the Savior. You are not Christians, you are apostate, so fuck you and the fuck, fuck the horse you rode in on. Fuck your leadership, fuck the whole lot of them. You're apostate, so get the fuck out of, stop calling yourselves Christians. I don't care. Stop calling yourselves Christians. You're fucking apostate. Go fuck yourselves. I've had it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. I warned you about the language. I knew this was going to be raw. Thanks for watching.